वेलकम टू गुरुकुल प्रेप डेली अपडेट्स ऑन जून 13. अपडेट वन बुक्स मुंबई गवर्नर रमेश बेस रिलीजेज डॉक्टर अशोक कुमार सिंह बुक जैन संपर्क और हिंदी हिज एक्सलेंसी गवर्नर रमेश बेस रिलीज डॉक्टर अशोक कुमार सिंह जैन संपर्क और हिंदी बुक एट द राजभवन प्रेमिस डॉक्टर स्वप्निल नीला डेप्यूटी चीफ पब्लिक रिलेशंस ऑफिसर अनिल कुमार जैन पब्लिक रिलेशंस ऑफिसर माइकल मैनवेल राज एंड पब्लिशर राम कुमार वर ऑल प्रेजेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू अ सीनियर ऑथर दिस बुक विल प्रूव टू बी अ बून फॉर द पब्लिक रिलेशंस एंड हिंदी डिपार्टमेंट एम्प्लॉयज एंड द रिसर्चर्स दिस बुक हैज बीन पब्लिश्ड बाय द रिप्यूटेड मुंबई पब्लिशर आर के पब्लिकेशंस अपडेट टू डिफेंस जपान इंडिया मैरिटाइम एक्सरसाइज जे आई एम ई एक्स ट्वेंटी फोर किक्स ऑफ इन योकोसुका The Indian Navy's indigenous stealth frigate in Sivalik arrived in Yokosuka, Japan, to participate in the bilateral Japan-India Maritime Exercise 2024 JIMEX 24. This is JIMEX's seventh edition since its debut in 2012. VADM Ito Hiroshi, Commander JMSDF Yokosuka District, and Ambassador CB George, India's ambassador to Japan, welcomed the ship warmly. The practice consists of both harbor and marine aspects. The harbor phase will comprise professional, sports and social interactions, after which the two navies will jointly hone their war fighting skills at sea and enhance their interoperability through complex multidiscipline operations in the surface, subsurface and air domains. Update 3. DEFENCE Lieutenant General Upendra Dwivedi named new army chief. The center has nominated Lieutenant General Upendra Dwivedi as the new Chief of Army Staff, putting an end to debate about the critical appointment. Dwivedi, currently Vice Chief of the Army Staff, will follow incumbent General Manoj Pandey, whose term has been extended by 1 month to June 30. Dwivedi was born on July 1, 1964 and commissioned into the Indian Army's Infantry Jammu and Kashmir Rifles on December 15, 1984. During his long service spanning nearly 40 years, he has served in various command, staff, instructional and foreign appointments. Update 4. Economy Bank of India acquires 6.1% stake in CCIL IFAC. The Bank of India has bought a 6.125% share in the recently created Clearing Corporation of India Limited. IFAC listed in Gujarat's gift says Subrat Kumar, Bank of India Executive Director International Operations, announced a celebration commemorating the establishment of the bank's IFAC banking unit in Gift City. Promoted by Clearing Corporation of India Limited CCIL, CCIL IFAC is the proposed entity to build and operate a real-time foreign currency settlement system at Gift City. The entity will act as a clearing house and system operator at Gift City. Update 5 International India welcomes Egypt, Iran, UAE, Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia joining BRICS. India welcomed Egypt, Iran, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia as new members of the BRICS grouping as their officials attended a critical conference of the bloc hosted by Russia which took over the year long membership of BRICS on January 1. Damu Ravi, a senior diplomat, represented India's delegation in Nizhny Novgorod, Western Russia. The meeting was the first ministerial meeting following BRICS expansion in 2023 when Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE joined Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa as full-fledged BRICS members. Update 6 National government announces 3 crore additional homes under PMAY The Indian government has agreed to provide aid for house construction to an additional 3 crore rural and urban households through the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana PMAY PMAY has been in place since 2015 to 16 to provide housing support to eligible low income families nationwide Over the last 10 years 4.21 crore homes have been built for these recipients through the initiative. All the houses constructed under PMAY are provided with basic amenities such as household toilets, LPG connections, electricity connections, and functional household tap connections through convergence with other schemes of the central and state governments. Update 7. Abichuri Sarod Maestro Pandit Rajiv Taranath passes away. 
Sarod Master Pandit Rajiv Taranath, who was being treated at a private hospital in Mysuru, died lately. Pandit Taranath, a famous exponent of Senior Mahar Gharana, was honoured by the Government of India with the Padma Shri in 2019 and the Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 2000. In Karnataka, he received the Sava Award in 1996, the Chaudhaya Memorial Award in 1998, the Sangeet Vidwan Award in 2018, and the Nadoha Award in 2019. Minister in charge of Mysuru District H.C. Mahadevappa and Minister for Kannada and Culture Shavaraj Tangadagi have condoled the death of the well-known Indian classical music exponent. Update 8. Obituary Tragic Plane Crash Claims Lives of Malawi's Vice President and Others. Malawi's Vice President, Sulos Chilima, and nine other persons were killed after their small military plane crashed in severe weather in a mountainous location in the country's north, according to the President. Chilima was 51. President Lazarus Chekwera stated in a live address on state television that the plane's wreckage had been discovered after a day-long search in dense woodlands and steep terrain near the northern city of Mazuzu. He said the wreckage was found near a hill and the plane had been completely destroyed, and everyone on board was killed on impact. Update 9. Sports Sumit Nagpal wins his sixth ATP Challenger tennis title. Sumit Nagal, India's premier player, defeated Dilibor Esviachina of the Czech Republic in straight sets to win the Tampere Open in Finland, which was a major achievement. He won 6-4, 7-5 to claim his fourth ATP Challenger title in five appearances. Nagel was initially behind 4-1 in the opening game. However, he quickly recovered to take a 5-3 lead and finally won the first set 6-4 thanks to some excellent baseline strokes. After the break, SVR Sine, on the other hand, was also in no mood to let it go either. The Czech Republic player soon started hitting an array of shots, trying to come back in the final and get the better of Nagpal. Update 10. State Mohan Charan Maji took oath as Chief Minister of Orissa. On June 12, Mohan Charan Maji, a four-time MLA, took oath as Orissa Chief Minister. The 52-year-old leader is a well-known tribal figure in the coastal state. Kanak Vardhan Singh Dio and Pravati Parida will be his deputies. Mohan Charan Manji won the election for the Kyunjar Assembly seat by over 11,000 votes. He defeated Biju Janata Dal's Meena Maji and Congress Prativa Manjeri Naik. The BJP won 78 seats in the 147-member Odisha Assembly, while the BJD bagged 51. The BJD and the BJP were in alliance for 11 years between 1998 and 2009 and fought three Lok Sabha and two Assembly elections together.